Hi, my name is Skye and this is my channel Netto Books. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Week by Paul Kingsdorf. In 2014 The Week was long listed for the Man Booker Prize and in 2014 it also won the Gordon Byrne Prize. This book is set around 1066, around about the time of the Norman invasion and we follow a man named Muckmaster who is relatively well off in his life. He ha he's a landowner, he has farmers who work for him, he has a position of like some respect um, and reason some respect in this town. He sits on like the town council I think it is and he has a wife and two sons and his life, I think he is pretty content, content with his life at this point but obviously this is the time of the Norman invasion and Buckmaster is English so the French invade and this is negative for Buckmaster. He one day is out hunting, his sons are off to war and he comes home and he finds his house burned to the ground. His wife is not there and he goes into his village and he sees kind of the same stuff there. So essentially what he does is he goes out into the woods and becomes a green man and he aims to gather men to start a, like a rebellion against the French. Paul Kingsnorth has developed kind of a language called Shadow Tongue which is his response to Old English. Essentially Old English can be quite difficult to read. I actually really like the Shadow Tongue. I think it does a lot for this novel especially since it is paired with um, a dramatic monologue kind of style of writing. We have Buckmaster essentially speaking to us as the silent reader and this, is, this goes a long way in evoking such a powerful sense of atmosphere. I feel like I have entered Buckmaster's mind and I am viewing life through life back then in 1066 through his eyes and that when I am living through these events that he is explaining and he's talking to me about I feel so I feel like such an outsider and I feel when I'm viewing his world it's just so strange so totally and utterly new and odd to me and I think that is how more historical fiction should feel because I am not familiar with this place. Why should it feel like my country? And I loved how in this novel I felt so, I felt so, I felt like a stranger and I felt like this world was totally different from the world I knew. That went so far in creating the atmosphere and just the general feeling of this novel. So talking about Buckmaster and seeing life through his eyes, I really want to talk about his um, character development. Of course Buckmaster does see a lot of personal development within him. What I really love about this though is, is that it's not necessarily a positive change. He goes through a lot of changes and moral kind of dilemmas and his personal growth isn't, I, I wouldn't say it's positive for him, I would say it's negative and I find myself empathising with um, Buckmaster sometimes and that's kind of scary and moving in a weird way because it's not so black and white, he is a human. Um, the, way the, way, the way Kings North shows this character development is quite cool as well. Throughout the novel Buckmaster, while he's explaining the events that have gone on, he is also talking to us about his past and he's slowly revealing parts of his childhood and his coming of age kind of years. It can be quite dark at times and I feel like the more it's revealed and you see a darker bit of who Buckmaster is, we we also see that then reflected in the current events we're reading and I feel like Kings North makes an obvious decision to make those negative or odd kind of traits that have been revealed to us more present in what we're currently reading. I really think that's a real strength of this writing. I like kind of the slow review and I like how then it's reaffirmed in the present but it's still not outwardly said and I do I do enjoy when a lot of things are, are left up to my own interpretation. Overall Buckmaster's mind and his kind of thoughts, I think him I think he as a person kind of begins to unravel through the novel and I just find it so interesting and engaging to find out where his character is going and where he changes for the better or for worse. I'm going to read a quote just to show you the writing to let you see the shadow tongue and I just think it's a good example of how Buckmaster does change. Sometimes your weird is given to you and you must walk with it even if it may take you to the darkest parts of all the world. I think this quote shows that Buckmaster is beginning to unravel a bit. He is beginning to accept what he believes is his fate at this point and even though he is kind of aware it will lead to him to a darker place in life or even or even has a group to like bad decisions, he cares a lot less. I think that's a good example of how Buckmaster is beginning to unravel. 
At first I thought the book was just about his loss of his identity after losing his land and his family but after going back and reading parts of it over I think it is also a lot about him finding this new identity or even just carving a new identity for himself in some kind of like desperation. I think the changes in his identity are shown quite clearly through the duty he thinks his ha the duty he thinks he has to his country, to his kin and also to his gods. It would be really hard for me to talk about this novel without bringing up um the religious side of it. I feel like there there is there is a lot of religion in this book. Buckmaster is a pagan I think and he's a pagan at a time where Christianity is gen generally accepted in England and I do feel like as the story progresses he does come to rely on his old gods a lot more and we do see a lot of the history behind his life and why his family has chosen this religion and I do feel like it's really interesting for me to learn more about this kind of stuff even though it is possibly biased and but what Buck Buckmaster thinks about it. I'm going to talk about the setting really quickly because it does play a really significant role in the plot. This story could not have been set anywhere else. Buckmaster has a really deep connection to what he calls the Fens which I think is kind of like a bog kind of area. I think the Fens are really important in this setting because I think when Buckmaster has kind of lost a lot and he goes into the Fens and he begins to find out who he thinks he is after losing his identity, um, the Fens play a huge role in that because I think they symbolise, I might be overthinking this, but I think they symbolise the wilderness and the freedom from the laws and the invasion and the French and all the things he resents in life. And I think it's not just the freedom from these physical things and concepts but I also think it is the freedom from who he thought he was or who he or who others think he is when he is in this setting he kind of creates a new identity for himself. I'm going to give you another quote because I just want to give you more examples of this shadow tongue. I think this quote really ties together why the setting and the fence are quite important to Buckmaster's identity now. You must see the hawk take down the crow, he says, and you must see that all of the world is blood, and thy work is not to lose thine before thy time. Be the hawk, not the crow, nor the eel, for this is how we come to this land, and it is what we is. I take this quote and I think it means that he sees himself more as a part of this land. He he is confident what his place in this land is where he might not be so sure anymore about his place outside the world and I feel like this kind of shows that he is more deeply connected to his home now and I also think the pacing was quite slow in this book I feel like there was a lot of lull there was very little um, action and when the action did come it came out of nowhere and I also don't think the plot is com completely thrilling. It is a pretty basic plot and I feel like the plot serves more to the character than to its own thing. Overall I did really like this book. I felt like it was a lot different from what I usually read. I've never read historical fiction set in this time period and the shadow tongue was really new to me. The character of Buckmaster was really interesting and I have so many thoughts on him. I feel like this video is already going to be too long and I will wrap it up. Please let me know if you have read this book or if you are planning on reading it or if you have any other thoughts on what I've said. I would, I would love to know and that's all. So thanks for watching. Bye!